Hello, my name is Corey Kramer. I'm a solution architect from Logicalis. We're a Cisco Global Gold Partner as well as a ServiceNow Gold Partner. So the importance of having an open platform for me and my customers is that it allows an integration between multiple systems to meet business needs. So how do we build the intent-based network? We're leveraging the Cisco DNA Assurance component to streamline ITSM processes, such as incident management and problem management. So today I'm gonna to take you through two use cases where Cisco DNA Center seamlessly integrates in with ServiceNow to enrich the workflows with data. The first one is an automatic ticket generation from DNA Assurance. The second one is gonna be a service ticket enrichment that comes from DNA Center. So today we're gonna to touch on the Assurance component of Cisco DNA. The Assurance component is the network monitoring and health and performance uh, portion of Cisco DNA Center. What we also have here is the platform, and that's where we can actually find bundles of APIs that allow us to tie in seamlessly between Cisco DNA Center and ServiceNow. So what we're gonna be focusing on today are two of the APIs. One is the basic CMDB and ITSM synchronization. This allows all of the devices managed by Cisco DNA Center to talk directly into the CMDB within ServiceNow. The other elements that we're gonna focus on is the network issue monitor and the enrichment. This is where it's actually going to be pulling the information directly from DNA Center into ServiceNow for the ticketing. One thing to note here for our demo, we're gonna be focusing on just one of the events here, a reboot crash. What's good to know is that we can modify the severity and the workflow to match that which we want to see within ServiceNow. Under ServiceNow we have a dashboard and we have a patient monitoring that we're going to be looking at. When we drill into this alert that we received about the wireless LAN controller called WLCDD rebooting, we can go in here and we can actually see a lot of this information that was pre-populated from Cisco DNA Center. The title here it's a Cisco wireless controller that had a hardware or software crash and it rebooted. When we open this record here, what we actually see is more information fed from Cisco DNA Center. Under the network details fed from DNA Center, you can actually see specifics to what is the IP address of the devices that are affected, what version of code are they running. This is really gonna help out your network operations folks from having to come back in and not have to find all this information themselves. This is with the help of the Cisco DNA Assurance. There's also some issue details where they perform some suggested action items within Cisco uh, DNA Center. It provides a hyperlink to be able to pivot directly into Cisco DNA Assurance so you can actually look in and see these same issues. This has the suggested action items from this crash here. The second use case that we have here with our demo is an integration between Cisco DNA Center and ServiceNow when we have to create a service ticket for a user that calls in an incident. So what we did is we took down the caller's information and Cisco DNA automatically populated it. In our instance here, we have a user named CH Scott and he was having a network issue. Once we put the user information in and put down what the event domain was, we're able to see the Cisco DNA network details that are pulled directly from DNA Assurance. This has information such as CH Scott is a wired user, this is his MAC address, this is his location that we built out within Cisco DNA, and this is what he's connected to. All this information will help us improve our mean time to resolution, as well as allow us to have this centrally documented here within our ServiceNow instance. Please visit Cisco DNA Center Ecosystem Exchange to learn more about our solutions and to contact us.